Einstein's theories withstood the test of time for almost an entire century. If there's one data point out of place, we would have to throw the entire theory out. Everywhere we look in the heavens, Einstein's theory has come right on the spot. But less than a year after it was published, theorists realized general relativity predicted something so profoundly troubling, many believed it couldn't exist in the real world. Until now. Dustin Jefferson. Sanders at ground control. Can you hear me okay? Listen, just sit back and tell me what you see. It's a star. I must have gone through a wormhole. It's Vega. Now that's just fine. Are you able okay. to verify your location and confirm or deny other existence? Over. It's a triple. No, quadruple system. Oh, it's beautiful. They're alive. I'm sorry. Did you say alive? Anything very heavy and very small would create such a strong gravitational field that space and time would be bent and twisted to the absolute breaking point. General relativity had predicted the existence of black holes, and it didn't just say they would exist. General relativity allows us to imagine what it would be like to travel into them. 
Einstein hoped that general relativity would form the framework for a new understanding of nature. But at the heart of its description of a black hole, theorists found a problem with Einstein's mathematics. Something so disturbing, his theory breaks down completely. Einstein's equations simply say the following. The reheat curvature tensor minus one half the metric tensor times the contracted curvature tensor is a proportional, or it rather is proportional to the stress energy tensor. All this says basically is that if you start with a star, a, a black hole, or even a universe, that determines the curvature that surrounds the concentration of matter and energy. But inside of these equations, there's a monster. Because in the extreme gravity of a black hole, Einstein's equations spiral wildly out of control. After very long, tedious calculation, I mostly get zeros, but the non-zero term is given as follows, which is m. That's the mass of the black hole. R describes the distance from the black hole, and here, right here, is the problem. And R is equal to zero, the point at which physics itself breaks down. So 1 over R equals 1 over zero, which equals infinity. So to a mathematician, infinity is simply a number without limit. To a physicist, it's a monstrosity. It means that first of all, gravity is infinite at the center of a black hole, that time stops. What does that mean? That space makes no sense whatsoever. It's the collapse of everything we know about the physical universe. In the real world, there is no such thing as infinity. Therefore, there is a fundamental flaw in the formulation of Einstein's theory. According to Einstein, then, all the mass of the black hole is contained within an infinitely small point that takes up precisely no space at all. This impossible object of infinite density and infinite gravity is called the singularity. We know what a singularity is. A singularity is when we don't know what to do. And to me, what's so embarrassing about a singularity is we just can't predict what's going to come out of it. But it doesn't mean that it's not infinite, and it doesn't mean that it's not there, and it doesn't mean that that's going to ever change. This reason and these reasons precisely why death, black widows, and broken infinity tattoos stay off my body entirely. And now you know. <laughs>